Hi everyone and welcome back to part 4 of the bunny tutorial. So if you're watching this in real time I hope that you've had a lovely Easter weekend and if not then I hope you've had a lovely day, whatever day it is for you and you're feeling ready to get some drawing done today. So like I always say everything that you need to know is listed down below and other than that let's just get started. Right so I'm going to start with this sort of ear that sat behind the front one the one on the right and I'm just gonna do the usual and just stab the lines away a little bit and I'm gonna use the buff titanium as the base so I'm just gonna bring it out to that left ear and then to the edge feels like spring is definitely coming today now, it's a lovely day. It's still cold but the sun is shining so that's all good. And I had a really nice Easter weekend. I went to see Drag Race UK um, in Manchester, which I won't lie, I wasn't overly made up with it. I thought it were alright but it went, it was a bit of a, a weird one. It wasn't what I expected. But yeah, I've had a good weekend anyway. Right, that'll do for now and I'm going to use the Brown Ochre 10% and I'm just going to start adding that in. Get a bit more of that peachy tone. I'm just going to add a little bit there, sort of like a warmer bit there and then it's a bit lighter around each side so I'm going to leave those bits and I'm going to add a bit up here. And then I'm going to use the nougat and start just mapping in some of these little hairs. So I'm going to start from here where the sort of browny bit starts and just start building up the fur. Might do a few little bits coming off the ear and I'm just going to do it to that left ear I need to just soften those hairs a little bit with the eraser that middle bit where it's a bit browner bring it to meet this bit and I'm just going to blend a bit more down there and then I'm just going to do a few hair is coming up there and now I'm going to use burnt umber and just start going over that darken up some of those little hair strokes make sure that your pencil's very sharp mine's not that sharp I probably need to sharpen it that's better just trying to get some really fine little hairs And I'm doing my like different directions so some going more that way some more to the left make it look natural just bringing a few up there And I'm just going to add a few more to the outer edge of the ear. And a few more around here. And I'm going to do this bit 
in the middle. the warm grey one. Let's try and get more like a warm grey tone to that bit, the lighter bit. Then I'm going to blend that with the Museum Aquarelle White and just try and like lighten it up a tiny bit. And now I'm going to use the dark sepia and I'm going to start bringing it along the side of the ear. Really lightly. And then I'm going to start blending some fair strokes down. Do a few over that brownie bit, and I'm gonna carry on bringing it along that edge of the ear. And I might just use a bit of the warm grey one just to like do a few little hairs that are a bit softer coming off the edge of the ear and then go over a little bit with the dark sepia just mix it a bit softer and you can use the eraser just to like lighten the ends And I'm just going to use the dark sepia to map in where this dark bit's going to go on the other ear. Just so that I can see more clearly. Like that. And I actually need to add a bit more dark sepia around here, I think. I'm going to blend a few strokes in. And I think at the top I might use a little bit of, I might use some sepia 10% from the Luminance range, um, but yeah, recommend this colour always if you haven't got it. And I'm just going to use it to start blending it into the top because there is a bit of a purpley tone. And I think this will work nicely. But if you've not got this colour, maybe use like some warm grey one. So we're just doing little strokes to blend it in. And then I'm going to bring that dark sepia over it. 
there is like a bit of a bluey purpley tone in the picture but I don't know if I'm that bothered about trying to make it look exactly the same I quite like the natural sort of brown tone of the dark sepia so that's the beauty of art you can sort of make it your own you don't have to follow exactly I mean if it's a commission you probably more than more likely have to be accurate with the colours but something like this doesn't matter too much so I'm just again doing some little strokes building up the colour doing some little hairs off the top Blended it down. And I'm going to do a few more bits of dark sepia over the rest of the ear. I might add the tiniest bit of Payne's Grey. Just for a tiny bit of that colder tone. Might add a little bit of burnt ochre more orangey through here. Just blending it through. Through here. A tiny bit more burnt umber. Darken up some of these little hair strokes. Just gonna bring it back into this bit a tiny bit more, and I might do some little fair strokes with the warm grey for. through these lighter bits. Okay, I'm going to add the tiniest bit of black to the top of this ear, just to darken it up a little bit more. I'm going to blend a bit of it in, mostly to the edge. Really softly and lightly. There we go. And maybe a little bit to the edge on that here, along the side. Okay. And now we can start on this bit of the ear. So, I'm going to use the buff titanium. Just get rid of them lines a bit. I'm going to start on this right hand side and just start blending that in as a base colour. Do you know what? Might do it over the whole year actually. I feel like it would be a good good place to start. There we 
go. And then I think I'm going to use, I'm going to try the nougat, hopefully this will work. And I'm going to start adding in these little lighter hairs by sort of drawing around them. So I'm drawing in the little gaps in between, doing like little lines and shapes to start trying to mimic the look of those lighter hairs. Let me go all the way up here. And then it sort of like comes down here like that. Then I'm going to start, oh let's use the brown ochre first, there is a bit of a, a peachy tone in there. I'm just going to blend it over, sort of this part of the ear but I'm not going over those lighter hairs really. the nougat and carry on adding in some hair strokes. Start building up the fur on this bit. There we go, and I'm going to add some burnt umber and start going over that, just darkening up the hairs. I'm going to do a few sort of into those lighter bits. And then I'm going to use the dark sepia and really darken up this right hand side of this ear. But I'm not pressing on hard, still pressing on lightly. And it sort of like comes down here a little bit. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to about here. And I'm just going to do some little hairs, sort of just flicking off it. And I'm going to just darken it up a bit more, like thicken it up. I'm 
can add a little bit more around here. And I might add a little bit through these lighter bits. That's better. Okay, let's now use I'm gonna use the Caput Mortuum. Caput Mortuum and I'm gonna start really lightly building that up. a bit dark to be honest. I might need another colour underneath it. Let's try the brown orchid 10%. I feel like I might need a bit of that over this middle part. It's gonna blend it in a bit. Blending it in. Right, I think that might be a bit better. And I'm going to carry on with the Caput Mortem, just really lightly building it up. need a bit more nougat just to like add a bit of a brown tone blending it into it I'm bring it down here Go between these light hairs again and darken it up. And then start blending it out. Really lightly, I don't want it to go all like mucky. And I'm going to do some little hairs coming up. Sort of like going round the ear. And I'm going to do a couple of little hair strokes on the edge. And I'm going to blend it in a little bit more. And I'm gonna go back to that Caput Mortem and just carry on adding that purpley tone in there. Just 
keep lightly building it up so it looks nice and blended. And bring it down. And I'm gonna add a little bit through this top bit. And along the side as well, I think. And I'm going to add a bit more nougat. It's going to keep combining the colours till I'm happy with it. And I might add a few more little hairs over that light a bit. I might add in this little fan here. Very lightly, I don't want it to be too like gross. <laughs> I'm not a fan of veins, they freak me out a bit to be honest. But I'll add it in just very lightly. That one there. Not put it in the exact same place, it doesn't really matter. Oh, losing my voice. I might just blend a little bit more of the brown orchid 10% in. Just like blend it all together a bit. Like the colours are like so hard to distinguish in this bit, I'm just gonna have to like really slowly build them up, blend a bit into these light hairs and down here. I might use a bit of I might use a bit of burnt ochre. See how that looks. I'm gonna just blend a bit. Into the inside of the ear. It's a bit orangey. And I'm going to blend a bit down this left side. And I'm going to go back to that kaput more to him. And I'm just gonna darken up this 
rat on the side a little bit. Blend it out a tad more. Not too much I don't want it to look like really veiny and gross Um might add a bit more nougat slightly blending it out I'm having to like really mix these colours together to get the right colour. side. There's some tiny tiny little bits of fur. I'm just going to do the tiniest strokes and start to build it up a bit. Along this left side. In there. I'm just doing it really slowly so I can make sure I get the colours right.
get in there with it. Definitely get in there. And I'm gonna get down here a bit more. And I'm going to add a bit more of the Caput Mortuum. Look at more of that light pinky purple at all. Blend that down. Very lightly. A bit from the left. just down here very lightly and then carry on blending out more from here. And I might add a bit of dark sepia just to the top of the ear just to blend it in more. And I'm going to blend a bit through this bit. And I might just add a bit more black, a bit more pen's grey actually, to this top bit. Just a little bit. A bit more black. Just for a bit more definition on that bit of the ear. My burnt umber, I think. And I'm going to start blending that through. Maybe I need nougat. It's hard to tell what colour this bit is. better I think. Blend 
put it into the middle bit. And I might try a bit of the brown orca 10% just to like blend it out a little bit more. And I'm going to add a bit more of the Caput Mortuum. Blend it all. It's like trying to get that sort of like see through look where you can see the light shining through the ear, but it's, it's hard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. more burnt orca. Just kind of like blending it in at this point. And I'm going to add some more nougat. I'm going to blend it in from that left hand side. And a bit more burnt umber. Just gonna add a bit more to this left hand sort of edge. In there now, I think we're close to achieving the colour. Sometimes you really do just have to like blend a lot of different colours together, unless you have the perfect pencil. But I don't want to go using loads of luminance colours and whatnot. I think it's also good to learn how to blend colours anyway. Here. 
Mooi. Add some around here. And I'm going to add some of the Caput Martum back into those like, little veiny bits. And I suppose that could be a bit more bright red toned. I'll see. In a second, I might add some more. Bright red. So you could add as much or as little of the veins as you want really. Just gonna add a little bit in. Don't want it to look too veiny. And if you want, you could use a colour like Al Alizarin Crimson 226. <laughs> I'm not very good at pronouncing that. Alizarin. Alice are in crimson. It's a bright pinky colour anyway, and I'm just gonna go over those veins a little bit. Let's get more of a vibrant pink colour. And I might just darken them up a little bit with the Caput Mortum. And there's a bit that like comes around there. I'm just gonna add that in. And I'm just going to shade a bit down there. And I'm going to add a bit more in between those white hairs. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. We're definitely getting there. We're getting there. I might add a bit of beige red, you know. Bit of pinky colour. Let blend it in a little bit. That's nice. And I'm going to add a bit more burnt umber. Start just adding a few more fair strokes. More around here. I'm gonna blend a few strokes down. I'm gonna darken up this bit here. And I'm just going to darken up in between those lighter hairs again. 
and I'm going to add some more dark sepia. Darken up this bit of the ear. Pressing on a little bit harder now to make sure it goes a bit darker. Add a bit more through here. And there's a little dark bit here. And I'm going to blend a few hairs through this bit. kind of want to just tidy up these lighter hairs a bit. I'm going to use the Caput Morton again. I'm just going to blend a bit more in. And a bit more around here. And a bit more burnt umber. there. Taking a while but we're getting there. Can I add a little bit of dark sepia just down this left hand side of the ear. It's really softly. And I might even add a bit of the warm grey one sort of like Coming off in little, little bits, little bits of fur. Just soften it, Tad. And I'm just going to finish off this little bit here. So I'm going to add the buff titanium. Just blend that down a bit. I'm going to add some nougat. Building up that fur. I'm not too bothered about adding any more brown orchid, 10%. I don't feel like it really needs it here. Just gonna bring that down. Might actually add a little bit of the brown orca, 10%, just around here. Might add a little bit. Let's start with them lighter hairs. And I'm going to add some burnt umber. Start darkening up that fur. Add a little bit here. Bring it all over this bit. So 
some dark sepia. do a little tiny bit just along this sort of edge where the inner bit is. Do a bit round here too. Blend a bit more in. I might do a little bit here. It's going in between those little hairs again. need a bit of black there um, and I'm just going to use a bit of nougat just to bring this bit together. And some black. Darken this bit up. And I might add a little bit in here. And a bit here. And I'm going to add a bit more of that um, bright pink colour that as Alazar in crimson just into this bit here. And a bit more through these veins. Pretty happy with how that's turned out. It was quite hard to um, figure out the colours, but I think it looks good. I'm just going to do this little bit here. So I'm going to use the brown ochre, 10%. Just in this little bit below the ear. Let's get rid of the pencil marks and do a bit more buff titanium just to soften out the edge. I feel like hair is coming out. And the brown marker 10%. Just to give it Really lightly, and I'm leaving a bit of a lighter gap there where that ear is. Uh, 
a bit of burnt umber. I'm going to bring like a little, little line down like that. And then I'm going to do a few little strands coming off the edge. And maybe even some warm for Just really lightly coming off the edge. I need to do these whiskers, don't I? It's going to tidy up that paper. I'm going to use a warm grey one. Sharpened my warm grey for. I'm gonna use that to about there, not quite to the end. Did I miss this one? And I'm gonna use the dark sepia just at the root of the whiskers. And if you want you can just like dab them a bit. Just to soften them up, blend them a bit. So that they're not so harsh. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit more burnt umber. Around here, a bit more definition. Um, I'll just add a bit of buff titanium in here, just to lighten it up a tad. A bit more burnt umber here. And a little bit more, just, and I'm going to have to define it a bit more than the picture just so it doesn't look so weird. It looks like two different bits. There we go, and I'm going to add a little bit more nougat just over the edge of the ear. I'm going to blend it up a little bit more. And then I'm wondering whether it would look good if I tried using the slice tool to make some little hairs just in this top bit. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try it. Let's just do, oh yeah, it's working. Some tiny little hairs. I'm literally like barely pressing on at all. Might be able to even do a few more coming off this bit. on this left side. Then if you want you can just add a little bit more burnt umber just to blend them in a bit.
think I'm just going to add a tiny bit more nougat through here. Bit of warm grey fire. Just through this grey a bit a bit more. Bit of dark sepia. Backing up this bit a tad more. Bit more burnt umber just to finish off. Right, gonna leave it there now for that part. I think we have done enough for this video. So in the next one we will finish off the face and see how far we get on the body so i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like if you did it really helps me out subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next video bye for now